Welcome to the Z Files. You're Zooming with Ellie Crystal from crystallinks.com. Today, I just wanted to teach you a little technique I used to show my classes called the T-bar exercise. T <laughs> represents balance, left, right. Balance scales, creating balance in your life when everybody at this particular point is into anxiety and panic and everything in the world seems out of balance, seeing just where your emotions and your spiritual energy is. So this is how we're going to do this, okay? Sit down, make yourself comfortable. Okay, now, I have this all written out, so you can also review this when I post it on Crystal Links, and you can see exactly how you can just read it first, but you can do this by listening to me. You can do this by uh, reading the notes and going from there, but basically what you're going to do is after you get yourself comfortable with music or without music, generally this should be a quick thing, so you don't need the music, but everybody's different. So what you're going to do is you're going to close your eyes. Okay, then I want you to visualize the printed letter T. May take a minute, some people are quick and they'll see it immediately. Other people need a few minutes. So visualize the letter T. Is the T balanced? Which means at this particular moment in time, your emotions, your intellect, your chakras, and everything else that you're experiencing right now, not forever, but just right now, is in balance, is in focus, and just go on with your day. But if the T is out of balance, up on one side or the other, then the object of the exercise is either doing it visually or getting to the root of what's wrong, figuring out how you can create balance. Okay, if you're out of balance, okay, you have to see which side is higher, the one that's lower, is a side that's out of balance. If you know things about meditation and, and um, the right left brain connection, you know that the left side of the brain, I guess I'm trying to do it as you're looking at me, but okay, this is the left side of my brain. That's the logical side. That's the side, if you're doing this at work, maybe a little out of balance. Maybe things are not going quite well with the project you're working on or something you're working on. This is the logical side of the brain. The right side of the brain is the creative. It's the emotions. It's generally the side that like tips, okay? It tips down because your emotions are out of sync and out of whack at this time. Maybe you just had an argument with someone. Maybe your whole life you feel is turned upside down. There could be any number of reasons. Now you can try to create the T to balance and come back in your mind this way, or you have to think to yourself, well, let's see, the left side is higher, the right side is down, the right side is my emotions. And then you begin to think, okay, what's off, okay? Is it my family? Is it someone I'm working with? Is it my life in general? Is it something I'm so worried about that I, I can't bring my emotions into balance. And then as you're thinking these things, your T might just start going up and down, okay? Like, like oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And then calm down, slow it down, okay? And then look again. If you have to open your eyes first and then close them again to see where the T bar is, then you do that. You have to see what's triggering the imbalance by just in your mind going through a list of things that right now, today, are affecting you. It could be the greater scheme of things. It could be something if the, the right side is up and the left side is down, like, am I going to have enough money to pay my bills? That's the logical thought. 
You know, am I going, I'm going into court. I'm going to interview for a job. Oh my God. You know, this is all the logical stuff. Uh, if you're an actor, an actress, or somebody creative, you want to say, can I memorize my lines for part? Or if you're writing a book, let me see now. Let's see if I can write, but I also have to balance with the right brain because I'm writing something creative. So you have to take this T-bar and say, this is my brain. And it's trying to explain to me that something is out of balance. It's out of whack. It, no matter what it is, this is for you to figure out and for you to do. And then you can open and close your eyes accordingly hoping to bring the T-bar into balance, okay? You may not be able to do it today. Whatever it is that's in your mind, that's affecting your emotions, like, oh, should I do this? Should I do that? Should I move? Oh my God, I don't know if I want to leave my family. Whatever, whatever is rolling around there in your brain, whatever is trying to communicate a message to you, see if you can pinpoint it. Even before you start, you can even make a little list like, mm -hmm, well, these things are bothering me. And you can do the T-bar individually. I don't like my boss. I want to quit my job. Then you look at your T-bar. Mm. No, it doesn't look like that's going to bring me back into balance. Uh, then you look at something else. I'm thinking of leaving the relationship I'm in. I think this person is certifiable or whatever people tell me, you know, is wrong. Uh, then you have to look at that. Then you have to look, you could look in your heart, you could look at your chakras, but this is not really a chakra exercise. This is really just looking at your brain, how it's functioning in this moment of time. Can you balance it? You know, it may be something that's very simple. And as soon as you address it and close your eyes again and look at the T-bar, it may come right back into balance and then you should have your answer. Okay, should I take a course in something? Hmm, yes, I should. Should I take a course in psychic development? <laughs> So oh, maybe I should. Okay, time to go back to the drawing board. But seriously, it's for you to take your time whenever you have time. I feel and I recommend this to my students and clients that if you're someone who gets a lot of migraines, it's excellent in trying to bring them into somewhat balance. This is not going to take away migraines. There are many places you can go to get help today. This is not back 10 years ago, where if you had a migraine, they said, take two Tylenol and that's it. This is about the brain and the brain chemistry and all the little, it's just a little exercise that's going to give you a little in-depth into yourself. Okay, you can do it anywhere, anytime. If you're having a bad day at work, really bad, you know, and you're like, oh, God, I can't take any more, then you could excuse yourself and find a quiet space on your own, or maybe you have an office, or maybe you just go to the restroom and sit yourself down on your seat and just, you don't have to be doing your business. You just sit there and just close your eyes and just say, Hmm. Okay. I can't take this job anymore. I'm going to leave and then see if the balance scales leave. Then of course you get into everything else you have to explore. Should you leave for another job? Should you leave? Shouldn't you leave? This it's, it's a whole host of questions. You know, it just goes on and on and on, but that seems to be even with psychic development, this is and meditation and everything else it goes this question into the next question into the next question. And, you know, that's why when I tell people reading is a minimum of an hour, I try to keep it to an hour. This is always extenuating questions. The answer to will I meet and marry a soulmate? Okay, so you answer and then, you know, will that soulmate be right for me, whatever. It, it can go into any number of categories that affect your life right now. So I leave you to close your eyes with or without music um, and maybe your headphones and just keep visualizing and thinking of things until your T bar is balanced. 
there we go. I can't say I do it the best, but I did use a ruler, so hey. And, and just work with it, okay? Just do it. You might even, you know, I just thought of something. You might even try, if you have paper, and most people have paper around, you might even try drawing the letter T and seeing, I guess, I just do this now. So I guess, yeah, I guess I'm pretty much in balance, but you could try any number of things. Remember something, there's no right, there's no wrong. It's just energy and your brain and your DNA. One draw this into a DNA, whatever you want to do. Um, I thank you for listening and I will be back very soon. Thank you.